Amanda, the high power, Archangel Raziel, Amanda Makulu, Mlaleli, Esmen Sako, Soktolum Sebezi, Sepis Nisi, Sezes Mali, and it's soon now umto to Mali, Utati, Ukezengao, and command Archangel Raziel power. Gongeloku, Ugwanda on Leven Epsugu, Uboni, Amanda Gamoya, E Archangel Raziel, E Seven Selana Numto to Mali, City in Dego, Zero Six Three, Six Eight Nine, Eight Nine, Two Two, Shinja Impilo Yakunam Sanjo, Gomto to Mali, Namanda, Archangel Raziel. Siya binga lelo binga lelo babu to hotel babu esis babu chablino fanu klinja ketem longo. Let me explain about our address. We are in CBD. Our physical address or business address is corner of Queen Street and Albert Street. The name of the building is Ned Bank House Building. We are situated 19 floor suit 1904 to 1905. Shooting at Darkroom Studio number one. Thanks. A very good morning to everyone listening to the show today. We are sitting here with Baba Udo Godela. Today we are discussing binary pigeons binary planets <laughs> <laughs> binary options <laughs> i'm sure people have received those inboxes yes hey, i'm mr doctor from i'm based there eh? from pretoria but i'm based in london uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to make this much then yes. i ah, you know those people <laughs> but today we're discussing binary pigeons it's african problems with african solutions ne? yes yes Bob Dottel, how do you know that the person has been zimbelled or talk about it. Sure. It's a concept or it's just it is, it is, it is very practical. Yeah, it is sure. very practical. I thought it was a number one, we have to correct the spelling. If you are going to zimble someone else, we have to do it while the person is alive. There are certain things that you need to remove from this person, like a photo, have his photo, uh, start to acquire some things like a hair where he was doing his salon or any fabric, anything that he wears, get one of those things, like a full trousers or a jacket, but get a jacket, get get, get something that belongs to him, mm. that will attach him to, to you. And thereafter, once you finish about that, and start to send signal to him. Send signal, don't rush him, send signal whereby he will dream as if he is, he is flying. He will dream as if he's in a village planting some things. Uh, you dream as if he's at school. And the after you, you, you're acquiring some powers, you're removing some powers from him. And the after, while you're sending the signal, you need to know whether he's a prayer warrior or is there anything that attached to him that will disturb you when you're just taking him completely. And the after, you call the person by the name. There is umut that we are normally use. We call it Ogasia Enyangen. The name of the tumult called Kogasi Nyangeni, Stumbu Pumendlini, Mwelela, and then we add another two. And thereafter, we will be standing facing the wind. If the wind is blowing towards our direction, we are not using, we have to pirate by the wind. We have to wait and see. If the wind approaches us now, we have to wait till the wind literally goes towards the house and they have to command this authority. And then we'll blow it. And when you come, you'll walk out at night not knowing where you are going. You'll come in pajamas. And thereafter, we'll be prepared something for you. When you come to us immediately, we will, we will force you to drink what is called Utagwa and Ingoto. We mix that together. And thereafter, we'll put a teaspoon of this water that was used to wash the dead body. And then you drink that. And thereafter... We'll take you to our houses and the after we'll force you to eat more muti and the after we'll let you go, we'll release you. We'll never escape. You'll live in my house for like a week, we'll never escape. You'll be watching your house, but you'll be sitting inside the house. What if they come looking for me? They'll never come because they can see you in a house. Okay. What is there? It's a, it's a fake of you. Just but, a shadow. But you're just so strange. You don't talk to people, don't like food. You go to school if you're a teacher, you don't, don't do anything, you just pretend as if you're sick. You remain in the staff from the after, you have a car accident when you're coming back from school, and you die. And thereafter, that's a show start. When you died, you have to be buried at the end of the day. Your belly will start to grow. You may not even fit the coffin because you'll be expanding in the coffin, and thereafter, you'll be bleeding. 
and your lips will be smiling, vibrating. Mm. But when I take a needle and put it in your finger, I, you draw it back because it is not you. While you are dead. Yes. If I take a needle and push it in your in, in your nail, you'll push it back. <sighs> and then after later, I'll convert into a, a frog or a mouse and run away. In front of the people? In front of the people because you are an illusion. You've been taken alive. This is what you call zimbling a person. <laughs> if your family member has been zimbled, normally after burying that person, for the first three to nine months, you people will be struggling difficulty in terms of money. It will be so difficult. And first six months to a year, some of your family members will start to dream of this person, demanding that please come and take me and I'm starving here, they're beating me here, I'm getting raped, all those things. Understand, I'm getting raped. It does not mean that you're a woman or what. Because they help you to sleep with animals. You'll be sleeping with dogs, with monkeys, so that you can produce what is called mandindan. You'll be impregnated by these animals that you're sleeping with. Whether you're a man or a woman. If you're a man, they'll ask you to penetrate these, these mammals. So that they'll get pregnant. And anything that will come out, it will be called umkov. But umandindan, because you are called umkov, uh, is yiyane. There are two kind of umkov. Called is yiyane, it's a person that has been physically zimbled. But umkov, called umandindan, it's whereby we, 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 we've been zimbled and forced to sleep with the dog, and forced to sleep with the pig, and forced to sleep with the man, with 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 the, with the baboon. We've got two or three options. It could be a pig, dog, or a baboon. Anything that will come out there, it will be, it'll be called umkovu. And that umkovu will be slaughtered immediately because they acquire fat. I'm a foot umkovu. Acquire fat, they demand bones, and they're able to use it immediately. And thereafter, we have to be reduced as well. They will reduce you, and thereafter, it's done about you. What I mean, reduce you? I didn't mean anything, but you'll be reduced. Babu Dawitawa says, Chabi, Thank you, Babu Dawodel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Babu Dawodel, in every building, when you enter there, it says admission reserved. reserved. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, especially, Babu Dawodel is saying you can access the minds of your church members if you acquire these uh, powers. Oh, yes, Rukia. Yeah, I just want to hear what kind of powers. Uh, Rukia powers, Rukia, Rukia powers. Rukia powers. Yeah. You can scan the mind of the person. You become a scanner. It is. You it become is. an x ray. It is easy. It is very easy. If you've been. No, no, it's very easy. Literally, it's very easy. Because each and every human being on earth, he or she has what you call pineal gland. Then, pineal gland, you also got a pineal gland. You can able to connect your pineal gland with this particular person. And then you can sense his pineal gland whether it is strong or it is very soft by applying your pineal, uh, these powers, but using your pineal gland. And thereafter, you can able to manipulate the person. You start to know his weak point, his strong point, and you're able to manipulate, manipulate. Most people who, 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 who have been initiated in Nigeria and Ghana and Benin, they've been given those powers called Rukia powers. We're able to, uh, to enter into someone else's body. Be able to do that, and if you want your church members as well to dream up of you at night, oh, I saw Babu Tawotela in a dream praying for me, and that's rubbish. That is all okay. Babu Tawotela says, Go, Chaplin. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Babu Tawotela. In Ghana, there's a place called Asibu. Oh, you've been there. They are using some powers uh, called uh, Wamgoni. I'm sure you know about this. Wamgoni. Wamgoni. <laughs> oh, how do you know about this? <laughs> hey. Do you know anything about this thing? No, I don't know anything. Uh, is it holy or demonic? Uh, it's it, No, it is holy. You have to be honest. It is holy in a satanic way. Or it's holy subjectively. In a satanic way. I mean, it's very <laughs> only <as a> subjective. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you're on the side of Satan, it's holy. It's very holy, very holy. And if you're on this side, it's evil. It's evil, yeah. But it's holy in a satanic way. It's very holy in a in satanic way. In a satanic way. Okay. Yes. Okay. Where is Asebu? First, you take a flight here to Johannesburg. Johannesburg to, to England. Okay. To England and down to 
Accra. Because uh, last time I checked, we don't have a direct line. From here to Even Ghana. if you're going to Nigeria, I think now we, they still have to via England. Because even going to Senegal, England. Then come back. How's Tanzania? Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> if you're flying to K T Tanzania, you go to Kenya. Before you go to Tanzania. We're going to take another flight, another ticket. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we must fix that. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can fix it. Yeah. We must fix it. Okay, Asebu. Asebu flight from here to Johannesburg, Johannesburg to England, Heathrow. And from Heathrow to Accra. From Accra, it's another five hours fly mm. to Asebu. And Asebu, it is where they practice magic. It is where they practice magic because they make demons speak to you. They make demons speak to you. But the beauty about that, they speak your language. Not they, they you'll be interpreted. No, they, they, those demons, they, like when they initiate you to Nana Kronto. Mm. There is Nana Kronto, there is Nana Mungu. <laughs> 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 and then there is Wamgoni. And then when they initiate to Nana Kronto, Nana Kronto is a male demon, and Nana Mungo is a female demon. And there is something that they give you. It's a skin. You wrap it around here. It has a patch of motifs that are hidden in the skin. Mm. You, you wrap it around here, then you're worshipping Nana Mungo. And then after Nana Kronto, they give another strap that you wrap around here. Okay, I nearly made a mistake. Then you wear that, and then you chant Nana Kronto, Nana Kronto, Nana Kronto, Nana Kronto, Nana Kronto. If you are chanting Nana Mungu, and then it's a woman, demon, it's a female figure, demon. And then after Wamgoni, Wamgoni is, is for serious pastors. It's for someone who's worried about ministry, want to grow your ministry like huge. We have to tap to the powers of Wamgoni to get a mega church. For mega church, because mega churches are not from God, they're from men. Travel anywhere in Europe. The biggest chest you can find in, in Croatia. The biggest church you can find, it has 22 people. In Croatia. In Croatia. In Norway, 25 people. And the church is big. In England, 50 people. And the church is full. 50 people. Mm. And then all mega churches, I'm not judging, but they're from men. They're not from God. And after, if you want to tap to that power, they give you the, the, the knowledge about how to invoke the spirit of Wamgoni. When you are invoking the spirit of Wamgoni, all you need is to get cowries. Cowries, there must be nine cowries. Uh, cowries, you know what is cowries? Cowries, then take to an And sometimes they use it for beads, for hair, says in by club. A ball of a Oh, yes. Yes, they call it cowries. Oh, cowries. And then you take nine cowries, you take four bay leaves, you take a pot, you put bay leaves, you put cowries, you take London dry gin, London golden dry gin, and then you open it, empty it there, and then we have to boil it. When it's boiled, you take that, you really have to boil till it bends completely because it's alcohol, it, it bends faster than water. And then after you take that, and go bury it in a grave. I'm not telling you for whose grave, which grave that should be. Bury it in a grave for certain days, and after we have to go there and chant the spirit of Wamgoni. And the spirit will invoke, spirit will invoke. All you see, you'll see something like a smoke, something, but it doesn't grow that much, it's like, like half a meter. It is if something is burning in the graves, something is burning, and then you chant, you chant, you chant. As much as you chant, and then when you chant, you feel like the ground. It is if you are surface, we, we are we are buoyant, we are floating, and we are not floating. It's like the spirit is taking over, taking over, taking over, till you become weak again. And once you become weak again, the after you have to dig this, whatever you buried there, take that uh, cowries. You have to swallow those cowries from the grave. Mm. You must have the brandy. Drink, spit it over there, chant, 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 spit it over there, and they have to start to praise. Pray in tongues, whatever, any model of prayer that you normally comfortable, knowing that it's not from God. And they after the spiritual, it will be enticed, and they after we have to drink those cowries. Those cowries will sit here. Any church member that attends in your church will scream like a skeleton because those cowries are here. They are nine. 
and after when we drink like a tot of uh, London God, uh, anything that you said, don't do it because it's not you speaking. It's that spirit from the grave that is taking over, and they have to do that. It is a spirit of Wamgoni. When you chant Wamgoni, there's a certain number that I cannot tell you how many times you must call the spirit. The spirit will invoke immediately. If that spirit control, what is called a reversal spirit. Reversal spirit mm. is whereby you pray for someone now and the person gets delivered, healed immediately. When the person gets home after three days, gets sick again. Thank you very much. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dontel. Dontel, I want to talk about uh, this miracle in our hands. It's so surprising that each person in these billions of people on earth have different fingerprints. Mm -hmm. I wonder why God did not even make a mistake because the people who died years ago have their own fingerprints different from each one of us. Now, there's this W and uh, M Depending light. on how you call it, yes. It could be M, it could be W, the way you want to so call it. Yes. It, but it's the hands. same thing altogether. Why left hand says W or M lines? Do you know why? This is... We has been, we've been initiated in different realms because I'm not telling you about my past. Past is not important. What is important is my, my future. If this is what we use to connect with you. Wherever you are in the world, wherever you are, if I ask you to open up your hands like this mm. on a screen and then send a, a picture of this, believe you me, I'm afraid to tell you that. We can even tell when you're dying. That thing, it shows you how long is your lifetime, blah, 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 blah. We are able to tell you why you are missing so much business opportunities by looking at your hand. Your hand is everything. It doesn't mean that if you got W, you are rich, rubbish, rich from what? Mm. It is a study that you have to know and the spirit that of impartation and knowledge, able to see. Because when I, when you send the signal to me, I release the Rukia, and release the code, and the after they're able to tell me. All we need, we need to know how old are you, where are you, and the after the zodiac will be able to locate you, and the after we're able to tell. That thing alone, and it's very, very important, especially when you shake somebody's hand. It better when you shake a person and then close the side. Why? Because you are carrying so much blessing. Give it to him, close it. <laughs> <laughs> and then shake it like this and then when you put it put it like this don't, shake, don't shake with one hand not, not shake pockets. like this and yeah. then shake it as if you are embracing him hold it close it and then most of the enlightened people this is how they shake each other they shake and they close immediately and they shake and then they pull it out not with one hand in the pocket they put it out because you cannot run away with it how many times have you been uh, shaking hands with the bishop? There's no way. They'll never do that. They'll never do that. They'll shy away. Hmm. Pope, never. They'll shy away. Not even a feast. No, no, no. They don't want. Because they have to shake and then they have to close. Just great and go. Great. Yeah, but sh when you hand and then close it as well. I think we are learning something from this channel. A lot. It's so different. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. That is why we got people from Darazara <laughs> who can't even go home. Instead of going home, they start in Nairobi. Hey, man. And thereafter, they get punished and then they travel down home. <laughs> Tanzania. To Tanzania. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. First. Nice. Okay. <laughs> it's tough out there. It's tough. It's yeah. tough. It's tough. Don't tell. Talk about Isichwalo by means of pastors who are highly filled or charged with the Holy Spirit. Yo, that's a nice one. That one is a nice one. Someone will ask, is there anything like that? Yo. All, all we have to do is this. We have to target someone. We have to target someone who's running an outdoor ministry. Amatende. 
tuck at that person. That person, you'll notice that that person is living straight life. And that after, we have to visit the church. And then we already received so many testimonies from coming from that ugly looking tent. He even doing schools, ministries, home sales, he helped people, and then visit that person. When you get there, wait for the time of offering. And then sacrifice plus or minus 20,000 sometimes so that will be important. And thereafter, they will thank you for uh, visiting and then thank you for the offering there to just see that. And the church will benefit a lot. And thereafter, you have to raise your hand high so that you can command authority. You can tell them that uh, you are going to change the stand and put a military great tent. Hey, wow, God to bless you. Oh, which God? And thereafter, you put a military great tent, you put speakers, you put a system, everything. And thereafter, we have a meeting with the pastor and then give him that this is the budget. And is there anything that you want to add? And then the pastor will add something accumulating up to 80, 90,000. He said, that's all. He said, yes, okay, fine. I'm scratching all this. I'm putting my budget, 350,000. How's that? Oh, so much. Yeah, so much. We need toilets. We need this. We need this. We need to fence. Yeah. How's that? 350,000. I'm paying. You sign a check and then mm. let it be. And then after you tell the pastor, stop. When you are preaching, criticizing Amadlos, you'll, people will run away and they'll leave the church. Stop doing that. Instead, preach, put it this way. Preach about the weight. Tell about the weight. Teach about how holy our God is. Stop about this thing of Amadlos. Let people come to church. Oh, because I've started to put some investment, you listen to me because you're no longer about preaching about God, you're now preaching about people. We, we, we're training you down. And then after, we, I'll come back with the resolution whereby I'm buying you a car, 1.6 liter, white in color, uh, Almera, Nissan Almera, how's that? Then I'll tell you that, my friend, see, I'm giving you this car. I don't want anything from you. But the way you preach, why you hate Gays like this. Don't preach about that. There are also people. Yeah, there are also people. Preach about the weight. And thereafter, you're not discriminating about gays. You're not saying anything about gays. Mm. And thereafter, you got a car. Now you're, you're liking gays now. And then I'm buying you a suit. Expensive suit for Passover. You'll pitch with a nice suit jacket, expensive one. But please, in your worship team, you must have gays. Please. You need to see them mm. because no one trusts you. Accommodate these people. Accommodate these people. There are people as well. And they are, we are perverting you. We are perverting you. Thereafter, I will start to invite you at my house with my friends where we, where we drink. Because we are a pastor, we don't drink. We we'll put something that is suitable for soft drinks. And here, some people are smoking hardy. Some people are injecting. Some people are sniffing. And someone else is individualizing here. Things are happening. And thereafter, we'll assign one gay to quickly kiss you. Just put a good kiss. In front of the camera. In front of the camera. And thereafter, we'll hold the camera and then we'll call. Someone else will call you. Hey, my man, I've got this video whereby you were kissed by a, a gay. I'm not going to publish it. I don't want money from you. I want one thing. Speak to this guy again. This is his number. Call him. There is something that he wants from you. I'm not saying over here. And thereafter, you are pervert here to start to sleep with more in, with gays again. Now you have to drink because now you've got so much stress. And this is the power of the devil. Please be careful about the gift that you get as a born again child of God. Most of the them, they're from the enemy. They will zombify you. Devil never celebrates the grace of God, no matter what it costs. As long as devil can win souls, he can sell everything on earth mm. and keep the souls. And now we are sending the signal. Got to be careful. Start to screen the gift. The intention behind the gift. Start to screen that. Pastors, that was a warning. A very strong one. Yes. Daughter, 
Talk about the binary pigeons now. You promised your people that you'd be talking about binary <laughs> pigeons. But you said something that uh, it can make your family look like zombies or <laughs> zombify your family. I'm not sure if you're going to cover that as yeah, well. Yeah, binary pigeons, binary pigeons. Binary please, pigeons. please cover that part as well. <laughs> binary pigeons. I marvel when I talk about binary pigeons. Binary pigeons is beautiful on its own, but you normally give it to posters or someone who's got serious business. Sure. And thereafter, when you got binary pitches, go buy this machine. Go buy this machine because the money now, you'll be starting to use these machines to count money. You'll be so rich. And then any money that is counted by people, it's not money. We're doing a serious counting hundreds here. Quick. You count a million within 20 minutes here. You count a million within four hours by hand. You see? But here it's quick. And then you buy need this. the license to buy that? No, no, no. Just go to the shop. I forgot the name of the shop. Okay. Yeah, it's just here in town. Just here in town. You buy this and then tell them that Papa Daughter has sent you to buy a counting machine. Okay. Not a till machine, count, money counting machine. A binary, binary pigeon. Binary pigeons are spiritual. When you come to Babu Dogotela to ascertain these pigeons, uh, all I want from you it is your money and the basket. In that basket you must lay like 50,000 rand on top of the basket and close it. Inside, I'll give you a color patch. Put a color patch inside and close it. Easy coop. Put it there and take it back home. And put it in a private room whereby no one enters. After seven days, we must find pigeons there. If pigeons are not there, come back to me quickly. And then I'll use my signals and then I'll send pigeons in, 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 in your basket. The time you wake up, pigeons will be flying all over your basket. But there'll be no money, there'll be no color patch. Money and color patch will disappear. And you'll only have pigeons. Thereafter, this is it. You keep the pigeons alone. No one should enter, especially your wife. If your wife has entered during the time of menstruation, your wife will menstruate, over menstruate, will suffer what is called menorrhagia, cervical problem of bleeding constantly. Okay. Will suffer what is called menorrhagia and she'll die from menstrual bleeding because she has entered there quite often. And thereafter, when she died, you will bury your wife because you'll be crying, burying your wife. As you are coming back from the cemetery, from the funeral, you'll find the dead pigeon. You will find the dead pigeon. Still, do not let your children enter. Because when they enter, they will die as well. They will see Coco seated there playing with pigeon. The one who died. Yes, your wife will be perverted into a pigeon. Because those are not pigeons, actually. To you, we said they're pigeons. And then after, when your children often go there, they become like autistic, you call it, medical terms called autistic, layman's language called zombies. They become like dizziness, as if they were taking drugs, they were taking this, mm. but it, they'll be like, they'll never bath again, they'll be lazy, they'll never eat if they eat, they'll never toothbrush, they'll be just... Autistic child, as you know what I mean by autistic, because we've been allowing your children to go. That is why I'm saying it's a big no-no. Boom, no one should enter there beside you. Beside you. Because when you talk to pigeons, you talk to pigeons like people, because they are people, but in a more love pigeons, because they've taken what is called isitualo. But when you die, your wife must know about pigeons. Because when they finish to bury you, they'll find a dead pigeon. Then in total, how many pigeons will you have? No, especially when you die. All right. Definitely you must repent into a pigeon. You must pervert into a pigeon as well. Mm. And then after you last like a week or so, and then all pigeons will fly back to the source. Okay. That's just all we had for today. Uh, Thank you very much, Mzansi. Thank you very much, African continent and the world. Uh, it's time to say goodbye, Bob Dovetel. Goodbye, Baba. Said. Amanda, the high power, Archangel Raziel. Amanda Makulu. Mlaleli, Esmeni Sako, Soktolum Sebezi, Sepiznisi, Sezezi Mali. Angitu suna wa umtoto we Mali, utati ukeze ngao. And command Archangel Raziel power. Konge loku, ugwanza ngon leve nepsugu, ubone Amanda Gamoya, e Archangel Raziel. E seben zelana no umtoto we Mali. Siti indegu 063-689-8922. Shinja impilo yako na mshanje, ngon umtoto we Mali, na Amanda Archangel Raziel. Thank you.